Hello everybody. So as you can see, I have it all together and I will go through and I'm gonna show a few things here first, but I wanna let you hear it's done. I'll give you a demo later, but I'm just showing you. Functionality is all there. We're gonna do preamp boost. Uh, overdrive. All working and now very, quite clean. Um, so I had two more major problems that I had to sort out. One of them was the low noise or the low signal. I figured that out and I'll show a picture here in a second, but I effectively had accidentally when resoldering these up and hooking them up after I'd realized they were miswired, had dripped a little bit of solder that was touching the input jack or the second jack over and then bridging to ground. So it was kind of not like a direct connection, but a crappy solder flow job. Uh, flow job, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, that, that looked like a, uh, like I was acting kind of like a resistor, so a lot of it was going to ground. So once I removed that, I got really loud noise, but then I started getting this like duck, 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 really bad like oscillation type noise. Couldn't figure that out for a while, and I'm, I'm sorry I didn't video most of this because it was just more boggling my mind, and I, I didn't think to actually pull it up and do that. But the funny thing was, is after I started playing around with it and looking back and forth between the, the, the schematic and the... Um, layout that I was using was that that layout I'd used was in the wrong place and the wrong type. It was for an older generation of it, and even though it did have a small black line to indicate there was a ground coming out, it, you couldn't see it. So basically coming right out of here where the presence control is, there was no ground to the ground of the uh, the phase inverter. So that's why it was being super weird. Well, as soon as I grounded that and I ran a ground under the board and over and connected over to this side or the, the, the output jacks are, it is now not only clean, like almost dead silent, but it also just sounds way better. It kind of gave it a, like before what I was getting was kind of just felt thin and now it feels much more robust and clean and, and wow. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. Uh, you know, I'm like flabbergasted. It just sounds incredible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a full, full on demo video where I hook this up to my cabinet and you'll be able to hear it coming out of the cabinet into a good mic up setup. And we'll give that a demo for everybody to give it a, a, a chance to get, tell me what you think about it. And I will try and demo all the different controls here. But as a quick review, oh, also another thing. That's the regular input. This is the Fed input. Listen to the Fed input. So it's a little hotter. But um, it gets a little bit noisier, obviously. But uh, it's pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, so as we've talked about before, this is the bright switch. This is volume, treble, bass, middle. This is the, I'll have to double check. I think this is the deep, um, no, this is the rock jazz switch. This is the deep switch. These are the, tr this is the kind of ratio of overdrive. And this is the um, level of the overdrive. And this is my master volume and this is the presence. So all of them seem to be working as I would expect. You can hear them adjusting tonality of things. So, yay, I'm done with this build. I will be coming up with some kind of a faceplate at some point, and I'm going to finalize this switch back here with something in some way. Uh, but, hey, it's it's doing what I want it to do, so I'm pretty excited that I completed it. I did not show you some of this troubleshooting stuff, like I said at the very last here, but I will show you some basic, as I've talked through this, the stuff that makes sense to that. So, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along on this ride. The Dumble is basically done, other than a demo video, which we will come up with you probably just within the next week. So, cheers. Have a great one. Thanks.